guys, welcome to ET Land, and today I'm going to show you how to easily install Infinity Nikki on your Steam Deck. And uh, it's going to be easy. It is the latest gacha open world cozy game that I have been very excited for. And without further speaking, let's get into the video. So first of all, um, this uh, is your this is my steam deck and uh, the first step is going to be uh, go over power and then go to change to desktop mode all right now we are in desktop mode uh, you can use your favorite browser i'm using microsoft edge and then we can go on and search for infinity nikki in Infinity Nikki, so I've already have it right here. So what you want to go to do is uh, go to their official website. It may take some time to load and it may ask you about the cookies. And then at the bottom, you can see there is a window download. So go on and download it. You are going to have this launcher. All right, so now that we have downloaded it, we want to go to Steam. And then at the bottom, you'll be able to find Add New Games. Click it and click Add Non-Steam Game. And then browse to download and then get your Infinity Nikki launcher setup EXE. Now we have this exe file here and we can add it to a program. Go to your library and then find the Infinity Nikki launcher that you have just added. This is the setup exe. You want to click this icon and press property and go to compatibility press this check button and then press proton experimental now this should be okay to run however somehow uh, the mouse is not running so what we have to do is go back to game mode now go to library go to non-steam game and then go to this launcher setup Dot exe now uh, we launch it here and then it will unpack the data for a second check this thing if you want to change the installation location, you can do so, but I do not recommend you to change anything here. And then press install that now. This is still not yet finished. If you press run now here. You're going to agree with this screen and then we'll have to download the game. So you want to press confirm and then it will start downloading and it will take some time. I'll come back when we once we have finished downloading. All right, now we have done with the installation. At this point, we should be able to run the game by pressing start. However, there are still a few steps that we have to do. All right, anyways. Uh, let's go back to our desktop mode to set it up. Right now we are in desktop mode. Go to Steam, open it. And then go to Dolphin. We have to locate where this is installed. So what we're going to do is, uh, so first of all, we go to home and then go to deck. Make sure go to this button, make sure this is uh, checked to show, to show the hidden files. And then once you check it, you should be able to see dot steam, click it and go to steam. 
Now go to Steam Apps, go to Compat Data, and then we want to go to click Search, and then click Steam and Y button to bring up the keyboard here. Find Infinity. It should take some time to note. Since I have actually installed quite a few times, there are many things coming up here. So we'll have to find if you have not installed multiple times, you should be able to find it. So for example, let's, uh, yeah, there are many of them coming up. I'm going to have a hard time anyways. Uh, to find it, you want to click L2 uh, on the folder, click it and then open in a new tab to see uh, where these are installed. So obviously this is just not the launcher. We have to locate the launcher.exe. New tab. Nope. New tab. All right. So we have launcher.exe over here. We want to use L2 to right click it and also just add it to Steam here. So on Steam, we go to library and then we should go to go down and find launcher. So now we have launcher.exe here. And then we can click this manage button, go to property, make sure uh, this is going to have a compatibility check. We are going to use Proton Experimental. Now uh, just check this directory. This is the launcher. Okay, seems all right. We can try to run it here to see if it's going to work. All right, now is working. Uh, but since we don't have not set up the controller here, it is not going to allow it, us to use the mouse and keyboard. So uh, we are going to close it out here. So next thing, uh, I will change it to I go to property and change the name. Uh, here, if we are using uh, a Steam keyboard. It is a little bit troublesome, so I am going to connect to a Bluetooth keyboard and change use it, change it to change the name to Infinity Nikki. Uh, another thing you could do is to change the image file. So, but to do so, we go to our browser. Okay, now we go to our browser, bring up our keyboard, and then search for Infinity Nikki, of course. And what we can do is go to Image. Now, there are a few things we would like to download. Uh, it's all up to your personal preference, of course. Uh, and uh, we can download this to our desktop. Epic Games, yes, we are going to use it as our portrait uh, image too, so download. And uh, I think it's pretty much about that. We can use this as icon, save it. Okay, so go to this website, 
she lacked a VIF to PNG. This is completely optional, so if you don't want to do that, you can skip it. And then go to where we have downloaded it. This file and add another one. Convert. Uh, this is in Japanese because I'm using Japanese for my device. Uh, it's going to be in English if you are using English as your default language. No worries. So now we are downloading the PNGs and we should be good to go. All right. So click here to change the icon that we have just downloaded. This one. Open and close it go back to here we want to change the banner so we want to change the background here and then click here open all right so it's here we want to also change the logo click this one all right so since we have launched it uh for once uh here we can uh, use L2 to right click it and go to manage then uh, custom artwork then we can also use the same image here and uh, please do not uh, remove the setup launcher because I tried it once and it just simply uh, removed the whole game for me so we want to set up the portrait artwork uh, let's just hide this game all right so we want to check uh, set up the portrait and how we can do it is we can go to run another game all right so now it's launching stop it yes and then we can go back to library home sorry so we can close it out so now we can see there is a blank portrait thing that we can set go to uh, click uh, l2 go to manage go to set custom artwork now we can use uh, the one that we have downloaded all right so that's pretty much about the setup and we can also change the layout of it to be touch screen mouse emulation. All right, so now we are done with it. We can go back, cross this out, and return to game mode. All right, now we are back in gaming mode. We can see Infinity Nikki is here. Just uh, make sure, first of all, you have experimental set here. So let's click play. All right, so now we have our mouse here. You cannot use a trackpad to press it because of the setup, but we can press it with R2. And that's the controller setup for the time being. We are going to go in game. For some reason, it is going to ask you to install Visual Plus Plus Runtime. Just press yes and install it. After installing it, you have to close the game and restart it. For whatever it asks you about Epic Games and whatever, just click, click I agree and proceed and then wait till it finishes the setup. Then after finishing it, we'll have to close it. You will not be able to run the game right away. So after this installation and closing this prompt, what you have to do is to end the game and then re-enter the game so that you can restart it and it will automatically run the the thing that you have just installed. All right, 
now we are able to get in game you have to log in so uh, now I'm going to log in and we'll come back later in order to log in you may need your keyboard okay now after loading all the things we came to this menu um, I just want to change a few options here first of all um, I am going to use Japanese instead so I'm going to change it to Japanese Japanese for the voice you have to confirm for downloading and it's going to take you a few seconds and this is completely optional uh, you will have to restart it so uh, we can do this Alright, I don't know why this is in English, but hey, uh, we can go to control, change it to controller. Right, uh, so first try to change it back to Japanese, apply. Right, uh, for the controller okay now we are good so uh, the layout that we have to use that I am using is emu deck controller hotkey that is going to work if you have not installed emu deck you can also consider to do so all right um, for the other settings, I'm not going to do anything. Uh, no. Yes. All right. Um, so we're going to press yes and just load to the sofa that you want to do. I'm going to uh, use Asia, obviously and we can get started this is so nice and that's pretty much about this tutorial thank you for watching and i hope you also enjoy your adventure in mirrorland i hope to see you in my next video and bye